Coconino County in northern Arizona is one of the top counties in our state for administering the highest number of COVID vaccines per capita. But as Team 12's Adriana Loya explains, a possible vaccine shortage could throw a wrench in distribution. Even after a big snowstorm, the task of administering the COVID-19 vaccine to the 100,000 eligible residents in Coconino County continues. The shot surprisingly did not hurt at all. John Schaefer is now one of the more than 13,000 that have received the shot. We do not have enough vaccine available to meet the demand. But according to Kim Musselman, the county's interim health and human services director, that number should be higher. But at the rate that we're going now, we are looking at not even being able to vaccinate everyone by the end of, you know, summer. Musselman says the county and medical partners are ready to administer approximately 1,300 COVID-19 vaccines daily. But on average, Coconino County only gets roughly 1,200 doses a week. That translates to an average of less than 200 a day. We have had weeks where we've had more than that, and then we've had weeks where we've only gotten 600 or 900 doses. Because of the unpredictability, Musselman says they can't anticipate the number of appointments they can make. That's why they still haven't opened up slots in March, and everything is booked up until then. I'm in 1B and she's in 1C. She's having a very difficult time signing up. Although George Hap's wife still hasn't booked up an appointment for herself, she got one for him and says that's okay. I think uh, everybody's doing the best they can. We'll do six, seven days a week if we have to once the supply chain increases and we're able to get those numbers. As medical staff here say they are ready for additional doses, those lucky enough to get them, thankful. I think, you know, it's understandable where we're at. Um, we'd all like to have more and have everybody vaccinated. So I just hope we all kind of keep doing the things that we need to do and that um, by the end of summer, we're back to normal. In Flagstaff, Adriana Loya, 12 News.